Well, it is now time for your good news. Students at Bowling Green High School took full advantage of their last Flex Wednesday of the year, moving through rotations of practical life skills for everyday life beyond high school. In 10 minute sessions all over the campus, students learn basic automobile maintenance like checking fluid levels, changing tires and jump starting a dead battery. That's good to know. Inside the school, classrooms hosted lessons on basic cooking skills, how to do laundry and the safe use of everyday tools. Now, while the lessons were brief, instructors hope that students bring these skills with them beyond the classroom. They, these are life skills, you know, life lessons that anybody can take from and go with. If, if you're broke down on the side of the road, you can't necessarily just wait on a tow truck. It's got a pair of jumper cables. Somebody needs to know how to do that stuff. If you have a flat tire, somebody needs to know how to change it. Um, they're just their life lessons, lessons that a lot of people don't know that need to know. And while this is the last Flex Wednesday of the year, students shared that they hope to see the tradition continue next year. Well, the Warren County Public School District held its inaugural entrepreneurship pitch competition known as the Spark Summit, Summit Igniting Innovation. This was yesterday and the school district teamed up with the Bowling Green Area Chamber of Commerce and WKU's Innovation Campus. This was to host the event where high school students from across the district pitch their business proposals to a panel of judges. And we learned a lot about businesses. We learned that it's not really easy to do it as we think. Mm -hmm. Like we just think that, oh, business people, they just sit in the office and do the stuff and it's really easy for them, but it's not. Mm -hmm. It's really hard for them to come up with this stuff and all. Mm -hmm. And like, as well as like advertisement and like getting the yeah. name out there. Sounds like they learned some good lessons. In a news release, Warren County Public Schools said that the Spark Summit is an opportunity for participants to receive valuable feedback from industry experts, as well as spark creativity, collaboration, and lasting impacts within the community. Pickleball is one of the fastest growing sports in the nation with over 36 million players being reported in the U.S. this year. As those numbers grow, many cities are capitalizing on the popularity and building pickleball areas and courts, including Cave City. Cave City Tourism Executive Director Jennifer McNett said that the new courts are just as much about getting people out and active as they are about helping Cave City as a whole. Uh, if you travel and, you know, come play pickleball, you're probably going to get thirsty. You're probably going to be hungry. It gives people a place to stop. They can come here and they can enjoy some of our restaurants, which helps our tourism. It helps the economy. Um, hopefully people who travel here will also shop here and visit our local boutiques and see our downtown and see all of the things that Cave City has been working very hard to improve and, you know, to draw people from all over. The new courts are located on Hubbard Lane between the Cave City Welcome Center and the Cave City Creamery. Well, while some people may be excited for summer vacation to begin, it can be difficult for those who face food insecurity. And that is why Barron County Schools hold their annual Reads and Feeds program. It allows them to provide breakfast, lunch, and a book to students and is open to anyone in the community with children under the age of 18. Part of it is funded by the Walk a Mile in Their Shoes event. Participants must walk a mile after skipping breakfast and the previous night's dinner. This child came in and said, you know, they were all like, aren't you excited? There's only so and so many days left of school. And, and um, the kid looked at her and said, no, I'm not excited. He said, I'm hungry when I'm away from school in the summer. That's heartbreaking. Uh, Fant says that one in every four of their students eat their last meal of the day at school. But you can sign up for the walk until the day of on May 11th and links for both events and the Reads and Feeds program registration will be up on our website, WBKO.com. And share your good news with us and you just may see it right here on Midday Live. Submit your stories, your photos and your videos at WBKO.com slash good news.